So PC fans, as you've known them, have been the same for quite a long time, quite a few years. But in the recent years, we've seen some new development and designs and kind of pushing the boundaries, what fans can do and what they are like. And the trends in this year continues. And there's some good and new improvements that fan manufacturers have made that I really, really like. We can see that the simple thing as a PC fan is getting better and improved in each year. So let's have a look at some of the new fans and what is changing in the PC fan industry. And let's take a look at the sponsor of this video. Deepcool and their LT series AIOs feature the Deepcool fourth generation pump, which has the optimized micro channel three phase motor up to 3100 RPM. The FK120 PWM fans are extremely powerful yet silent from 500 to 2250 RPM range and at full load noise at up to 32.9 decibels. The unique geometric reflection design on the block cover brings out an enjoyable aesthetic to the PC build and is easy to install. It comes in 240 mm and 360 mm sizes and in black and white. Deepcool LT series AIOs deliver high-end performance and is recommended by many. Check them out through the links in the video description below. So first of all, last year we saw uh, a new fan come to the market that's called the Fantix T30. And what was so different about this fan is that because of the actual depth of the fan, this fan is the best performing fans in the world because it is actually deeper than the usual fans. So if you put them side by side for the likes of Noctua NFA 12X25 fans, then you can see that the actual depth of the fan is much deeper. It's actually five millimeters deeper. And this was one of those exemptions last year that tried to improve the performance of that. And this is a very high quality fan. And you can see that by checking out the actual distance of the fan plate to the edge of the fan. It is very, very, very close to the edge of the fan. And so is this Nocto fan actually. They're very, very close. And often when you see a lower quality fan, you don't see your fan blade so close to the edge of the actual fan frame. And another benefit of this fan was the speed of the fan. So these fans can go up to 3000 RPM, which used to be like a, you know, you have to get knocked to a PPC, I think this is the fan, like a very, very high um, speed fan in order to get this. But because of the depth of the fan and the speed, which you can actually adjust, there's three um, modes there, advanced performance and hybrid you know, how fast you want the fan to have maximum speed, uh, you were able to do that. And these fans have actually gone down in price as well. If you want to pick them out, I'm going to leave that in the description below. I highly recommend buying the three pack, not individual fans, because you're going to be paying much less when you buy them in, you know, a big combo. And a new guy around the market is this Arctic P12 Max fan. Now, what is different about this fan? Because it is very similar to the previous P12 fan. And the difference here is the Max name here on the title. And the Max basically just means that these fans go 3000 RPM. And that's what makes this fan so special. In terms of the fan blades and fan design, it is slightly, you know, improved from the previous generation. It does have an end here like the fan blade end as it's got a cover or an end edge there so they're not just free or open in the end so that so that just gives rigidity to the fan because it is not made out of the same material as the Fantex T30 or these Noctua fans there that have a bit more stronger plastic this is a little bit of a lower one but it does spin 3000 rpm and this is a very very good budget performing fan if you want to check out a good review on this i highly recommend checking out the hardware canucks video where they tested this fan and you can see that this fan is actually very 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 good and fantastic especially for the price point the rubber pads or the anti-vibration pads have been built in here in the corners of this fan as well and this fan is really just simple if you're looking for a budget high performing fan to either upgrade your radiator fans as well as the case fans then these are very very good performance and i highly recommend you check them out another good thing about these is which arctic shows over here is a six yeah, warranty, which you don't see with that many products. But there's more interesting fans being released this year, and we're looking at two separate ones in here. One of them is the Lian Li Unifan P12. 
28 and the other one is Fantex D30, not T30, okay? There are different colors. There are different colors of these available as well. So whether you're going with a white or black build or something in between, that's that. The Uni fans here don't have any RGB. They are just basically high performance fans. But these Fantex, Fantex D30 fans, the D stands for probably are dedicated RGB or D, I don't know what it is. Basically, there is some RGB going on around this fan. I'll put the Fantex on the side because there's a bit more going on on the Fantex than on this P28. First of all, these Li and Li fans easily mount together into like a one big bracket. So it's much easier to mount them on a radiator on your case because they're just very easily, boom, it becomes like a one unified bracket basically. But not just that, the P28 stands for 28 millimeters. The usual fan depth is 25 millimeters, but these are 28 millimeters. And you can see that over here, if you are looking at the Noctua fan here, and then the Fantex fans on the side here, you can see they will get slightly deeper and deeper and deeper. Now the 28 and Noctua don't look that different actually here, if I'm putting them on the top there. Because of the anti-vibration rubber pads, it is really about one millimeter, maybe one and a half millimeter thicker than the Noctua here which is actually 25 millimeters only there. But you can easily see the fan depth difference here when we're looking at the D30 uh, difference there. You can see that this is definitely deeper. You can see a trend here and the trend is to make the fans deeper, which I think is actually quite a cool idea because you can scoop more air, your fan blades can be, you know, deeper and they have a bigger area to cover. So I'm liking that. In terms of the the design on one side, which will be like on your radiator or when you see the side of the fan, it's got a nice chrome kind of side and a chrome splash there as well, but they are all black. On the back you can see low, medium and high RPM. Low is 1300, medium 22 and high 2600 RPM. And in terms of connecting those fans, it is very, very simple. You have kind of a male connectors here that go into the females and then you we just put them in there like that and then slide them together, boom, and that's that. There is a little notch in the middle of the fan that shows you when, when these are aligned that the fan is actually connected together here as well. It looks like the material is very, very similar to whatever Noctua and Fantex T30 are using. In terms of the bearing of this, this is a fluid dynamic bearing, whereas the Arctic actually had dual ball bearing in terms of the fans. So all manufacturers use different types of bearings. And if we're looking at the uh, airflow, it's rated up to 92 CFM on the high RPM there. Air pressure 479 on the high up to and max noise level 32 decibels. Now there's a few more things that are going on with this fan. First of all, this end here, when there is a male connector, obviously that goes there and then the female connector I'd say. The female connector end here twists out and then you can take this one off because the fan comes with a few cables and if you want to connect your fan to uh, another fan for example, let's say look you've got one in the back of the case and then you've got radiator fans that are going on around there in there then what you can do is add this connector that comes also in the box in there slide it in there locks this way and now this is on the back of your PC case, for example, something like that. And then this cable goes on the top of your PC case, or in this case, on the bottom here. And you just connect them together with this one cable, and then you'll have all of these fans. So you can basically connect all the fans in your PC together, just like that, even on top of the PC, in the back, and in the front. All of this can be daisy chained together. There's few of these connectors that you can use. And then once you have connected all of these together, bear in mind, don't lose these little nubbins because you will need them in the end. Now you don't have to take it actually off in the end of the, um, the fan roll if you're not using water cooling or if it's not in the way, but it can come off just so you know. And then there's another cable that goes on the other side that will kind of put the signal into the kind of fan chain that's going on here and this is a similar thing here that it it will go into 
that side there's little fan connectors there all you have to do is just line it up there it only goes in one way so make sure you put it in the right way that's that and then this will go inside your pc i've got an extension cable here from the pc that's benchmarking the back over there so if i'm just going to plug them in the fans keep going and this is how they work now i can take them off boom look and then now these fans don't keep going anymore and once you've connected them together boom the fans keep going now the fans also come with this uh, high speed low speed adapter which basically just goes between your fan adapter in the case and then you can see there are little red lights here and a little button here you can switch between medium high and low so low high medium low low is green medium is white and then high is red so what you can do is connect your fans to it i don't know why you would need it let's say if your um, case doesn't have a fan control for example or something like that so right now they are on the low and now they're on the high ramping up producing a lot of air but they're still very very quiet so in essence these are the lee and lee uni fans you can use them individually as well just one fan use the fan cable connector and then plug it directly into your pc fan if you wanted to as well but now let's look at these fantex d30 fans there's a lot going on here and i like what fantex is doing now you might have noticed that one of these planes is slightly different which is this one and as you can see there is a point here these are reversible fans well you can reverse them, but there's two types of these. Usually when you um, have a reverse fan, for example, you're pushing uh, air out from one of the cases or air in, for example, on the side of the case, you're going to see this a little bit of a secondary design back of the fan here, which has all sorts of random stickers and it's not as nice as the front of the fan. But now you can have these beautiful looking fans also on the side of your case and then they're pushing air in, for example, and the fan looks very nice as well. So we've improved on the looks. And as you can see on the case, you can have two of these, either regular or reversed fans. So it depends which ones you are looking for. And these can have some uh, pretty interesting RGB there going on as well. Now, some of the other fans have all sorts of different things going on and different colors of the um, like rubber plates going on. But first of all, this fan has these types of covers that you can add on top of your fans here to make it look very, very nice. As you can see on the back of the fan hope, there's no none of these covers, but you can easily add the cover and making it look very, very smart from the front here. As you can see, I have put on this side all the covers all the way around. And again, I highly recommend buying a, a three pack of these rather than a two pack because you're just going to get better uh, price and value of this. Bear in mind, when you mount these to the case, these have the same um, depth as the T30 fans. They are 30 millimeters thick which means that you will have to have special fan screws here that are slightly longer as you can see on the side one side of the fan there is a signal corner input so there is the signal input and output and if i'm gonna take these off here for a moment then there in the three pack you're gonna get these kind of connectors that connect one fan to the other so that the signal will run from one can can fan to the other but there is like an input and output corner so it doesn't work the other way apparently so this is signal input corner here and then you're gonna use this clip and this doesn't matter which way you're gonna use it this way or that way because it just connects one uh, connection to the other so all you have to do is kind of line it up there and then click it in and then there we go and then you can do the same with the next corner and then there we go there is also like the ends of the corners as you can see on the other side uh, which i have done here i have put already the ends it's kind of a hard kind of hard to get them out you might need a little bit of screwdriver to get them out there's a little latch there but but this will cover the corner as well for some reason the corner is manufactured this way so you can clip the fans together to the other one so that you can have the fans in a rack just like that. 
but then if you want to make it nice in the end they do include these little plastic things and then all you have to do is just pop that into the corner pop it in and then it will fill out the corner and you've got a beautiful nicely looking fan on this side and as you can see the middle connectors on the other side of the fan there is no connectors no female no male just the plastic here that you can pop over and then push down and then you're gonna have this one rack of a thing that can just be mounted on the radiator on the side of the things but obviously bear in mind that the airflow of those fans because this way the fan will push air that way and then this way this bottom fan is obviously different as you can see this will push fan the air this way the fans will go that way that way that way so these two down this one up which is nice then if you want to connect to the motherboard you do have this cable here and this on one side is one of those which will be connected to the input corner which i have over here so you're going to take the corner so you're going to have to mount it kind of on an angle there you're going to put that first in and then boom you've got it mounted in the corner and now the signal comes into those fans and on the other side of these cables we have two things one of them is the pwm connector which goes to the motherboard and controls the fan speeds of all of those three together and then on the other side we have an rgb connector but this is kind of a um, different connector than what you have on your motherboard so you will have to use one of these cables here now depending on a motherboard you might have a different type of connector there i think this is the corsair header that can go into some of the corsair um, connectors as well now don't call me on that but i'm pretty sure this is that and some of the msi motherboards will have this connected directly on the motherboard but as you can see this is what you usually see a five volt connector on the motherboard where you have kind of a three pins there but this is three pins just a different type of connector but there is the adapter so you can plug it in there and then you can get RGB from the motherboard. And the other side then goes to the motherboard and then the fans turn on. It's interesting, the top fan is blowing air this way and the bottom fans are blowing air that way. Now, the difference with these fans and the T30 fans is that these D30 fans only go up to 2000 RPM rather than 3000 which the T32 does so if you are looking for performance fans then these T30s are still the ones to beat whereas these ones only go up to 2000 RPM but they look nice so someone who is looking for a full Fantex build and has these types of nice fans then obviously this is very very nice looking fan uh, set now generally i am happy to see these types of improvements on these uh, fans uh, as you can see they're getting nicer looking easier installation you know more performance out of those fans as well which we all can root for but there's a few things that i'd like still to be changed which is the fan speed now if you have all of those fans in your pc case at the same speed which will be either the uni fans or all of these because the signal calls into all of these together so it doesn't give individual pwm connectors or signal to them which means that your fans will start to resonate or harmonize what will happen is when all of the fans run at the same speed they will start to make more noise if those fan speeds were slightly staggered because when you have a lot of the same kind of frequency, it starts to double and make it more louder. Apple did that first with their um, Mac Pro, the big tower, where they had only three fans in the front and it was extremely quiet. And all of those three fans never ran at the same speed, which just helped it to kind of cancel out different frequencies um, and make the fans run smoother. Now, I'd like these manufacturers to implement this to these as well so when i'm connecting three of those fans together just make those fans slightly staggered you know input so it knows that when you're going one to the other or to the other they are going either slightly faster or slightly slower or just average speech will go different which means we can get quieter performance and another issue that i have is the warranty if you look at the arctic's warranty here which is six years right which is very very nice noctua six years warranty here as well but then these fantex fancy fans fancy fans and someone should call them f30 only have three years of 
warranty. And when we're looking at the Lian Li fans, you can see that the case is actually even worse. Two years of warranty here. Now, if we're paying premium for premium fans, then I expect a bit more warranty than just two years or three years, compared to the six years that we get from Arctic and Noctua. Now, what would be interesting is if someone made 140 millimeter fans, but deeper than these here. Now, we can see that they've done the deeper fan things on the 120, but 140 could be very interesting because at much lower fan speeds, you can get much more airflow through. So it would be interesting to see that going as well. Anyway, if you want to check out these fans, I'm going to leave them in the description below. Bear in mind, there are different colors of these available. So these D30s can be purchased in black variants as well. So check them out as well as these Unifans P28s. So leave them in the description below. But if you do want to build yourself the best bank for book, create a PC, then check out the build guide in the video description below. Whatever your budget is, there's a video for you down there. Click on the video that has the closest budget and I'll explain everything there. Go check them out and I'll meet you in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching. Bye bye.